Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, this is what I would want. It's not as busy as the place up the road, which is a lot more famous and not as good. That's all I'm gonna say. In a previous video, Bova's was our pick for the best cannoli in Boston. Three, two, one. Bova's! Bova's! Same. Oh my goodness, without a doubt. We got an inside look at how Bova's Bakery puts the heart into its cannoli. We're in a, a unique location. We're not on, on Hanover Street, we're on Salem Street, where a lot of people that have been in the area for a while still come back to. It's not the exact tourist location. Bova's Bakery was founded in 1926 by Italian immigrant Antonio Bova. The shop is covered wall to wall with Italian food and sweets, but the cannoli is by far the top seller. My name's Dominic, I'm a great grandson of uh, Antonio Bova. I'm John Cluse, great grandson of Antonio Bova as well. You know, Dominic and I being fourth generation, we know how important a family business is. Still having our, our hands in the business. A lot of businesses may have name recognition and may sell out, and very few people have actual family members here on a daily basis. The bakery offers eight cannoli flavors, ranging from traditional to new age. So what makes our cannolis the best is it comes from the heart. We put passion into our cannolis. And we're constantly filling our cannolis. So no matter when you come, our cannolis are always fresh. This is key because Bova's Bakery is open 24 hours. At night, lines go out the door. Oh, cannolis. Oh, my on. Wow. This is so good. <laughs> The traditional filling starts with a base made with whole milk ricotta. To ensure a smooth consistency, Dominic makes sure the sugar is mixed thoroughly before he adds the whole milk. I've just had the filling, and I already know it's going to be a great cannoli. The ricotta filling is separated to make different cannoli fillings, like Nutella, and pistachio. We're getting, we're getting another taste test. <laughs> pistachio. That flavor is so nice. I'm in trouble. I don't think I don't think I'll be able to pick a favorite when I try these three later on. The so fillings are all so good. Other new cannoli flavors include creme brulee, cream caramel mixes with the ricotta filling topped with Heath bars. So I think we get a lot of our cannoli flavor um, ideas. I think a lot of it comes from our help, right? If they go to the store, they're picking out flavors that they like. So a lot of our help will make recommendations and customers will make recommendations on flavors that they like. Well, a definite unique cannoli would be the Florentine. We make our Florentine with almonds, butter, sugar, and honey. Other places will just use a mix before they make their Florentine shells. Ours is 100% from scratch and hand rolled. You're not going to find that anywhere else other than Bova's Bakery. Now you're going to fall in love. I know that for yeah. sure. Our three most popular cannolis are the Florentine, chocolate chip, and creme brulee. Now it was our turn to try all three. This is a working hazard. Oh my god. It's good, right? Oh, it's so good. Everything that I said that I wanted to look for in the perfect cannoli, like everything is checked. The shell's super crunchy, ricotta filling is like super smooth and light and fluffy, not too sweet, not too grainy. They know what they're doing here. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is it. This tastes like a legendary dessert. 
She does not mess around. This thing has some weight to it. I don't know what a Florentine shell is. I assume that it's from Florence. Maybe. <laughs> it's French. It's from France. I'm gonna do it. I can't do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. This whole time, I've been taking on a journey because I've been eating filling for the past few hours. I thought every time I ate a different flavor, I'd be like, oh, this is great. And then I'll have the next one, and I'll be like, oh, this is my favorite. And now I have the third one, and I'm gonna definitively tell you that this is my favorite. Um, the reason being, the shells on the cannoli, the regular cannoli shells, they're more of like a vessel to hold the filling and like don't really give any additional flavor profile other than the, the, the crunchy factor texturally. This crust, it's sweet, it's nutty. Boston really knows how to make their cannolis. I can tell you that much. Okay, this is a little embarrassing, but as you know, we ate like 50 cannolis this week. And uh, <laughs> no, two days ago, we ate about like nine cannoli. Yeah. And then, and look we where like... look look where we are right now. There's bobas, <laughs> and here we are going back for more. <laughs> <laughs>